What up, though? I am AJ Williams, the managing editor for the Michigan Chronicle, and I am here with Chef Tramiel. What up, though? How you doing? I know you're not from the D. I'm not from the D. But you can say what up, though. I can say what up, though. <laughs> okay, perfect. And we're going to be talking about uh, wild turkey. Wild turkey today. And getting into a really dope recipe. And you ready to get started? I'm ready to get started. You look, you look I, a little nervous. I'm, you ready to loosen up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's, it's wild turkey. It's wild turkey. We're going to be a little wild today. So let's tell me what we're going to be doing. You know, so we're going to do a wild turkey porchetta, also known as a roulade. You know, so what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to take this turkey breast. Um, we're going to remove the tender, which is right here. Now, you can save this for later. You know, eat it as a snack. Do turkey, turkey chicken tenders. tender. There you go. <laughs> See, look, you're already there. You know, um, so again, don't throw it away. It is it is good meat, you know, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this, we're gonna do just a light score on it. So what do you mean by score? Um, you know, for a, us, uh, us non-chefs. So it's a slicing that doesn't break the skin. Okay. Um, it's so that we can get a little bit more surface area. Okay. Um, and also it helps with the, the marinating process um, as we season the meat. You know, getting everything in there. Getting everything in there. Okay. You know, so once we have it, we're going to spread it out nice and neat. And then we have this mix over here. What this is, is it's uh, it's poultry seasoning pretty much. So there's thyme, rosemary, um, sage, a little bit of garlic, onion, um, salt, pepper. And we're going to spread this. And then we're going to, that's going to create our filling right here. And we're going to roll it up until a turkey pinwheel. I would have just went and got a turkey. So tell me why I should get a wild turkey instead, or you know, because it's locally harvested. It is local. But also the benefit of it. So the major thing is that it's local, so you know where it's coming from. You know what's being put into it. Um, you know, you know the farmers or whoever's harvesting that, harvesting that intimately, typically, and it is going to taste a lot, a lot better. So honestly, I would have never thought about literally none of the byproducts and things like that that you will find from being kind of mass produced. Exactly, you right? know, so a lot of times uh, wild turkeys, they, you know, they roam and they feed naturally, you know, um, and that's with all, all game that's wild. You know, it's gonna feed naturally, it's not force fed anything, it's not given a bunch of filler just to make it fat. Flavor wise, like what kinds? Like, can, um, you, can you describe it? It's just a more complex flavor, you know? Okay. So a lot of times when you're tasting, when you're tasting things like chicken and, and, and turkey, you know, until you infuse them with the flavor, Very you true. know, they're, they're a blank canvas, you know? But this, you're gonna be able to taste the actual gaminess of the meat. Can you, can you quiz and, and cook? <laughs> I can do okay, everything. you're gonna be chef extraordinaire. <laughs> Did you know that hunting and fishing in Michigan contributes to guess how much? 11.2 billion to the economy and 171,000 jobs. Right. I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> I mean, so I, I, I myself do a little bit of fishing in the summer, oh, you know, okay. so I, I go and I pay for my, my uh, fishing permit, you know, and then you got to stop at the bait shop, you, you know, so. at the gas station. Yeah, exactly. Somebody told me, little birdie told me that you have a very abundant family. <laughs> I do, I do. So, 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 so I so do. How many, how many little ones? Um, so I have seven. I wouldn't call them little. No, some they're of them not. Are, they're big. So, some of them are a little bit bigger than me, but I mean, you know, I, I do. I have a, you know, I have a, an extensive family. You a know? very so, large um, family. That's I do. what's up. I have uh, my son who is fourteen, and then okay. I have um, six that I adopted. You know, oh, so amazing. so my five nephews and my niece. You That's know, what's and, uh, up. you know, but they're all mine. You know, and uh, we we do. We oh, have a, you're trying to just make <laughs> us endear to you oh, even no. more. They been hunting over the past couple of years they come back with some deer you know so uh, you know have you done some things with them oh yeah i mean you got to do a little something you know whether it's venison stew you know okay, i mean we did a venison with wildlife before venison chili so yeah, yeah okay what i really want to know about is how are we going to preserve this from getting dried out that's always a thing with turkey so that's the reason why um we're actually rolling it up into this roulade is because we're actually going to protect the inside you know so we got a nice skin on the outside that's going to provide a protective layer once we pan sear we're going to toss it in the oven come out nice and moist juicy fun fact 19 the 1900s to 1950 wild turkey had all but disappeared in michigan like they were ex almost extinct and through the sale of hunting licenses they have been able to provide revenue for um, fund management to preserve. It kind of monitors how many can be, you know, hunted in a season so that we can all partake of this amazing, like to be able to have this meal. <laughs> 
what I did right here is I actually uh, got a cast iron skillet. I love cooking with cast iron. You know, it's one of my favorite things to cook with. I don't know if it's because my grandma. You just know, because of grandma. It, it has to be. It does you know, the same I mean, thing. I just think grandma got us in it. Yeah, that's it. You know. Um, so what we did was we started off with some uh, ghee, which is clarified butter. You can. I you love can do ghee. it at home. You can do I it at home. Ghee. But uh, today, I, I, person, today okay. I cheated, you know, and I went to the local market. <laughs> so now that we're getting that melted, what we're going to do is we're going to actually put the turkey in there. We're going to start to sear it. We're going to add our, our vegetables, some aromatics, and then we're going to finish it in the oven. Once it comes out, we're slicing and serving. It's going to be a beautiful dish. All right, I'm excited. Let's get to it. So I told you I'm obsessed with wild turkeys right now. Now okay. they're like 200,000. Wow, of the bird in like every corner of Michigan uh, them, over the last seven years. I do, I see them running so around. So, you see them, so I now do. we're back to, I set you up. Okay. So we're gonna go hunt wild turkey, right? And hey, you're gonna go hunt wild turkey. I'm gonna sit in the car and watch. Okay, I'm okay. with it. I'll cook it. If you okay. bring it back to me, I'll cook it. Okay, I can Fair trade? Right? All right, <laughs> done deal. <laughs> okay, so now we're searing on both sides. Yeah, we we're, we're searing. And you can see it's getting a nice brown. It is. You know, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna do a one pan meal, you know. So this oh. is one of my favorite things to do. One pan, yes. less dishes. Yes. <laughs> you know, we, we got seven kids, you gotta worry about dishes anyway. Oh, so you I'm, have dishwashers, I, they're your dishwashers. But it's know, fine for me, single who don't wanna wash, wash any dishes. I'm one pan. So, all right, we're gonna flip it again right here. We're getting nice crispy on the skin. But yeah, we're gonna start. We're gonna start putting everything. Got some in. green beans. Some green beans. We got some mushrooms, local mushrooms from what Mycopia. Kind of mushroom? um, so these are maytakis. Ooh, you know, so yeah, nice flavorful. They're gonna soak in a lot of the flavor that's going okay. on in the pan. You know, um, so we just want to break them up a little bit. Mm. I'm gonna dream about wild turkey tonight. Wild <laughs> turkey. <laughs> All right. Oh, people just think, oh, people are just hunting, and that's it, or you just fishing. But how much it actually contributes, not just to the health of your body or your restaurant, but, you know, to the economy in general. So, that's what's up. All right, we're going to give this a quick stir. Quick little stir. It's looking real, real, real good, All real right. easy. Got a little salt you over here. You got to do that. Oh, we're <laughs> not going to salt, babe. I can't do <laughs> No, you're doing Chef Tremel. <laughs> Chef <it>. Tremel. <laughs> All right. Now, as this heats up, what we're going to okay. do is we're going to add a little bit of this, this good chicken broth right here. We're going to deglaze with that. Okay. Bring it up to just a light slimmer, and then we're going to go in the oven with it. I want to give a very big thank you to um, the National Wild Turkey Federation for donating um, this wild turkey for us. <laughs> So you're gonna plate it on up. Now what's also awesome um, with the conservation that comes from the revenue from licensing, the Michigan Wildlife Council is a very big thing that there are no, did you know? It's not state taxes. Really? I yeah, so it's its that. own separate revenue. And then we're a benefit of it more than having to contribute as far as like state taxes. I actually whipped together a, uh, a cranberry chutney. This is uh, just something that I think is gonna bring a lot of flavor to the dish and pull it all together. All right, I mean, this is also a great idea for, I mean, if you want a one pan for Thanksgiving, I'm not mad at it. I, you know, the highlight can be the wild turkey. Before I, I jump into this, we wanna thank uh, the Meyer Bridge Street Market for all of these beautiful um, ingredients outside of the wild turkey. So you ready? I'm ready. Got to get some good sweet potato, green bean, love this. I'm going to use your, you mind if I use your knife a little bit? Go right ahead. I'm going to get. Dig in there. Get into this a little bit. All right, there we go. Okay. Now you tell me what you think. It's very good. Thank you. I that appreciate it. That chutney does bring it out. It does. Just has a little bit of pop to it, a little bit of sweet to all the savory dishes going on in the dish. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Before we go, please visit www.hereforMIOutdoors.org. And also, if you want to learn about this recipe, maybe for Thanksgiving, visit us at michiganchronicle.com and you get to download Chef Tramiel's. What is the name of the recipe? It's actually called a turkey porchetta. 
Thank you so much, Chef Tramiel. Oh, thank you. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure to work with you. AJ Williams here, Managing Editor for Missionary Chronicle. All right, you ready to get into this? I'm ready to get into it. I'm only sharing it. a little bit. <laughs>